Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so excited to be recording another video. I don't have a microphone yet, so I know the quality is not great with the sound. Hopefully that changes soon. We are not doing a full editing video today. I will upload another one of those soon though. But today we are going to be talking about Lightroom brushes. What you can do with them, how you can make your own. So, when I first started editing, I relied heavily on my Lightroom brushes. And when Lightroom rolled out this new update, I kind of freaked out a little bit. But I have learned how to create my own and use them to my advantage. So, before the update, I would have gotten a brush and enhanced her with a brush, and then I would have enhanced the background. And that took so much time, especially if you're doing a whole bunch of different images and you need them to all look the same. It was so difficult. So I am going to show you how to make your own brushes real quick. In the new Lightroom, if you've updated it, this is where your brushes are. The masking button, you're gonna click that. And when I click this, I'm going to hit select subject because we're going to make a subject brush first. And when I click this, it's automatically going to go to the brush that I used last and she's going to look a little crazy. Okay. So yes, she looks a little crazy. So you're going to select your subject. And if you need to add or subtract, like let's say I don't want um, this stuff highlighted right here, like the edge of that, you're either going to hit add or subtract and you're going to hit brush. And you can brush off what you don't want on that mask. Okay, there's a little spot here I don't want. I'm going to take that off little spot here I don't want, little spot here. Okay, I'm not gonna get too picky with this one just for the purpose of this video. So after you have got your mask down, you're gonna go down here and you're going to mess with the sliders until it looks like how you need it to. So I'm gonna bring the cool down and I'm gonna bring the contrast down and the texture down and the clarity down. I'm going to bring the highlights up just a tad, not a lot. But I like this. I like how this looks. So after your brush, your um, sliders are where you want them, which you can come down here, you can mess with these, you can do less saturated, you can do more saturated. Here. You can add noise, you can take it away. Don't ever go down here because this messes with the whole image. Like, let me show you. That makes the whole image different. So stay in this box up here. And now, once you're done with all your sliders, you're going to hit this little arrow right here. I don't know if you can see. And then you're going to hit this and scroll all the way to the bottom. And then it says save current settings as new preset. Hit that and just title it whatever you want. I'm not creative with my title, so I'm just gonna enhance subject. I think this is like my fifth one and save it. And it's automatically gonna be saved. So let's go up here and make a background one. Hit create new mask, select your subject. Because in this image, we don't have a sky. You're going to hit subject, these three dots, and hit invert. You're going to mess with your sliders again. Um, put them how you want them. I'm going to add some texture to that blanket. I'm going to add a few more highlights to it. I'm actually going to warm it. Oh, not that much. <laughs> I'm going to warm it up some. Add some brightness. 
Maybe even bring the blacks down some. I know this looks super crazy. I'm just playing it with for the sake of the video. Um, okay. And then we're going to go here and we're going to do the same thing. Same thing as last time. We're going to scroll all the way down. Save current settings as new preset. Oh, I can't type today. There you go. And let me show you how easy it is. So let me hit done. Let me reset this image and pretend, you know, we have like 50 images that look similar to this. All you have to do, hit subject. Find the one that you want. Let's see, we just made this one. Perfect. Add another one. Invert it. And pick the brush that you need. Didn't even change much. <laughs> but that's it. That's how simple it is to make your own Lightroom brushes. All right. So excited about my next video. Um, we'll do a full on editing video for the next one. Okay. See you guys later.